Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, on the behalf of the Group 3 ML Web, it's an honor to present you this video about the role of the teacher as information provider. One of the eight rules of the medical teacher as adopted by Ronald Hartin. By the end of this lecture, you'll be able to delineate the importance of the teacher as an information provider define the six reasons why information provider are important and eventually to describe a doctor teacher and a person as an information provider a winner of nobel prize in medicine the professor bishop stated that the three purposes and practices of teaching are first to inspire second to challenge and third to impart information Furthermore, Professor Ronald Hardin stated that the information provider and coach is one of the important rules of his eight rules for the medical teacher. The three C's summarizes the rules of the teacher as information provider. Conduit for information, curator of information, and information coach. Conduit for information is the traditional role of the medical teacher. The skilled person who devotes him herself to passing on knowledge in a clinical and non-clinical settings effectively and efficiently is the traditional definition of information provider. Moreover, he able to spend a great deal of time preparing their material and making sure that it's an accurate and up-to-date. In order to be a master in the topic you teach, you should reach the aha moment. The aha moment is the moment when the student integrates and connects different elements of the subject teach it. You should be careful not to reach the information fatigue syndrome. This syndrome is a multifactorial involving the social expectation. What I'm expected to teach this much. And the norm is, this is the way that I was taught. And the purpose, this was I'm supposed to doing in a way. To avoid this information fatigue syndrome, you should have a core curriculum, which defines the requirements that must be satisfied before a newly qualified doctor can assume the responsibilities of pre-registration house officer. Moreover, there are different modalities of teaching you should adopt in order to avoid this also, of which focus group discussions, adult technique, and several methods you should adopt to avoid the information overload. Basically, the teacher rule is to assist the students to move up the information pyramid from the awareness part to information knowledge and eventually the wisdom part it's imperative to differentiate and distinguish between the information and the knowledge in the learning pyramid simply the information the facts and details about the subject while the understands and contextualization of the information in the knowledge. To clarify more, let's take an example. The knowledge of the hyperthyroidism includes an understanding of the combination of symptoms and laboratory investigations that is required to confirm that the patient's thyroid is overactive. So the learner has heard about the topic, is aware of it, but does not have significant information about it. This is the core of the principle adopted by Professor Atul Gwandi, the principle of just in time learning. That means the details can be explored later on, if and when they are required. The different modalities that can you adopt in your role at the medical information provider are the flipped classroom recording of lectures, handouts, blogs, colleagues, multimedia resources, clinical context, 
and the routine traditional method which is the lecture moving on the second c of the three c's of the roles of the medical teacher and information provider is the curator of information as we know all most of the biomedical information are available on the phone but your crucial role is to filter the resources available and direct the student to the appropriate resources the last c coach the information coach to be an information coach for your students you should be able to guide them to ask the right question and to search for the proper source of information furthermore to evaluate the information received by your students and make sure that they acquire the important knowledge that help them in their future career to wrap up you should know when the teacher is an information provider and a master of the information provider the teacher is an information provider when he has studied in more depth the information that is required by students in relation to their own subject and to the curriculum overall the teacher as a master information provider when he has gained an understanding of the theoretical principles of information management and how he can apply this in his own teaching practice moreover he is recognized nationally and internationally through their achievements in the field including publications and presentations finally thank you